He's working in you. Say, he's working in me. He's working in you. He ain't done yet. We're putting off and putting on. This is a continual thing. Working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom all glory be forever and ever. He gave us this blood of this everlasting cover because he's got something he's doing in you. He's going to perfect. He's going to mature in you the good work of his will. That means I don't care how old you are, how many times you failed. How many t- he still said, right here today, I've been working with you. And everything you've done and every failure you've done, none of it's in, in vain. You're just coming to me with a bunch of experience. You're coming to me with a lot of experience. Brother Chris said the other night, he said, why did it take me so long to find this? And you know what I said? I don't know if I told him this, but the truth is, you may feel like, sometimes we feel like we have wasted years. None of it's wasted. You come in 56 years of experience of seeking after God. As a young man, something was in your heart to want to be a priest. That's how you was raised. And that was, that was an ultimate uh, sacrifice you was willing to do, except for a girl coming in. But, but you had ultimate sacrifice, rather. But you know what that shows me? Your heart was after him. See, we, oh, my goodness. When I think of Apostle Paul, Paul had a heart after God. See, Paul gets a bad rap. We go, oh, he was a murderer, killed the Christians. You know why he was killing Christians? He was devout. He was a zealous Jew. He believed in Jehovah. He followed him to the letter. And this man named Jesus run around claiming to be God. He's like, man, he's a heretic. He believed that this man was harming God and the people. So he was after God. He needed a perspective change. 